so hello everyone i hope you're going well today i'm just going to show you how i crushed the 1900 over the board it was in pilsen as in pilsen in czech republic uh yeah i played there because i do love playing czech republic it's honestly i, I haven't I, I didn't have this experience yet but the czech republic is known for winning free rating points uh no so it's a pretty cool legend but it's not the case and Here's the proof. I, I actually I lost 40 rating points. I, I played against a lot of 900 rated players. I'm rated 2006, uh, 2006 FIDE in this moment right now. And yeah, they, they do play very good chess. And even though I had winning positions like plus eight, nine, ten, yeah, it was still difficult to convert. And all these players were very very precise. So yeah. It's not so easy, but in every case, let's just start with the game. I played with the white pieces against a man uh, named Andreas Schindler from Germany. Yeah, so I played with the white pieces and I started with e4. He played c6, d4, d5, and then of course, a small surprise, I played the move e5. Why? So actually, I do never start with e4, but yeah, now, now it's not a surprise anymore. I can play some all sorts of opening. I can start with d4, c4, g3, knight f3, b3, knight c3, and so on. So it's not a surprise anymore. He plays c5, which is the move that I used to play in the Kao Khan. <clears throat> and how can I say it? It's a good move. I mean, it's a very active move. But the problem is that you have to know it pretty precisely with with black because it's pretty easy to be good prepared with the white pieces and just destroy you and I actually played the line which I hated the most with the black pieces I took the pawn e6 because if you play knight e6 knight f3 let's say let's say something like that it, it's a pretty known position but it's very difficult yeah no wait it's not a position or is it I think it's take, take this, yeah, it's not a position, but in every case, it's it's pretty difficult position, e6 right now, bishop e3, rook d8, bishop there, very long and complicated variation, but in every case, I decided uh, not to play this variation anymore with the black pieces, but okay, e6 is the engine recommendation, I play a3, and after bishop takes, which is forced, if you try to move like, Knight c6, I can just play b4, and yes, you can take, but then bishop b2, and I do control this diagonal more than black does, so it's better for 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 white. So he took on c5, I took, I mean, I played b4, and now the best move is bishop b6, because if you play a move like bishop b7, then you have some issues with, the, with, with this knight, you have to try your plan with f6, and human, uh, engine it is probably playable but uh, humanly it's very hard to to defend correctly with all the weaknesses that you created by the move f6 so he played bishop f8 which is actually a mistake i just played knight f3 knight g7 in order to jump on g6 or f5 i played the move bishop d3 g6 and castle bishop g7 and now it's time to think a little because yeah i can Play bishop d2, which I will actually play in the game. But, but at the same time, I do find it very attractive to put a bishop some, not not there, but I do find it pretty. I do like. Please, I do not like all these arrows. Yeah, but I I I would like to have the bishop on this side of the board because I will just be able to attack more precisely. And since there are so many weaknesses on the black squares, I do not understand why I should put a bishop on b2. But this is actually what I did in the game, so and the reason why I did that is because I just wanted to attack on the on the black squares and the light squares, of course, thanks to the bishop, but I really wanted to put a knight on f6 or with g4 and so on. I, actually, I do know this position, that's why I, I didn't know if I should follow my experience with bishop d2 or if I should try something new. But I played with my experience, bishop b2, uh, queen e2, as I mean castle and queen e2. And now white is clearly, clearly better for one specific reason. You do not have any sort of plans with the black pieces. Now c4 is coming. I, I, I do not have to play the move c4. And in the game I won't ever play the move c4. Why? Because I do 
I do think that okay, even if engine it is pretty logical to, to, to take so much so much space and so on, it's pretty difficult for black to know what to do and find a good plan. And if you play C4, you can always sell it in trade and put some sort of pieces on uh, in the center of the board, which is of course not so good in this position because everything is wide open and the pieces are misplaced. But still, I don't want you to give him so much chances. So I played knight. So he played a a six in order to try to move like b five, but b six was actually forced right now in order to play bishop b seven. And yeah, after that, I would just play either knight d two or rook b one or c four and so on. But okay, he played a six. I played knight d two, knight f six, and now I do understand that <clears throat> I have to create some three squares for my pieces. For example, I would like to have a knight on g three. But to have a knight on d3, I have the I need the f1 square. That's why I played the move rook d1. Somehow there are some green lights on the board. I do think it's a mistake. Yeah, great. Yeah, so that's why I play rook d1. But the engine prefers a move. Ah, oh, why is that? Yeah. Thank you, Chess Base. I love you so much. Yeah, but the engine prefers a move like rook e1 because the pawn will be protected. And you will see it's pretty important to have the rook on e1. And not on d1. Now I would just notice, but yeah, uh, I just understood this on the board during the game. First, I thought that rook d1 was the best move. I didn't know where to put my rook, but then I just decided d1, and I already knew it's what it was a mistake. Because okay, queen c7. First, I thought yeah, it's 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 good enough. My pieces are strong enough. But a move like d4 can always provoke some counterplay because of the move knight d5, and then the e5 pawn would be very weak. So okay, knight f1. I didn't see d4 before playing rook d1, but now I do know that rook d1 is the best move. So he plays b6, and I play h4, and now there is only one defense because <clears throat> my pen is pretty easy. I know I also want to push h5. What I, what I really want to do is to put a knight on g4 and f6. It could it would have, it it it's just a dream, and that's why bishop d7 is still okay. Knight h2, and now it was actually. Important to play either h5 in order to control the g4 square or d4 in order to have some counterplay in the center. Yeah, but he didn't do either of his moves, he just decided to play rook d8, but now it is just too late. Now I would just crush him. He played move b5, and you see it's just a loss of time. Now I can just crush him. And let's say he takes, for example, I would just take with the pawn, I'm attacking his king. Okay. The bishop is blocked by the pawn, but still this pawn is very strong and protected. So let's say you play the, the only move. Okay, let's say you go there, for example. I would just trade this queen d2. This is mate. And if you take with the e-pawn, this is weak. But I, again, I can just go there and I would jump on, on this side of the board. And if you go, for example, queen d6, I can just do h5. Okay, let's say you improve your pieces with f4 in order to prevent my queen from coming in. Now I'm just better for one specific reason. The d5 pawn is very weak and isolated. That's why the best move is probably something like takes, takes. f takes doesn't make any sense, so h takes, h takes. And now I really wanted to, to defend this pawn and control some squares. So for example, a move like rookie one is possible because I even even if he goes there, probably something like that is possible. I want to play c3, and if he takes, there is just check. Oh wait, he doesn't have to take. And if he goes there, yeah, if I take, he takes back. Okay, it's not winning yet. Okay, it's not winning yet. So you see, he had some some counterplay, some chances, and so on. But okay, <clears throat> he decided not to take and to play king h8. <clears throat> it was pretty surprising for me, but okay. Knight d5, and tell me, how do you want to defend yourself? He decided to take on f6, and now I <clears throat> did calculate probably 5 minutes or so. <clears throat> I'm very sorry, and I do, and I, I'm, I'm sure that I found the best moves. I haven't analyzed with an engine yet. I will in a few minutes. But yeah, right now, after knight f7, it's just crushing. So he played king g8. If you play a move like King g7, I take the knight, and if you take there, I can just take with check. You take, 
they take, they take, and I think that it's just winning. I'm up a full rook. And uh, that's why going on g7 doesn't make any sense. And if he goes on g8 first, I really wanted to take. And somehow I, I wasn't feeling great about something like that. Okay, if I take there, if I take there, this, this, this. Okay, I'm up in exchange, but still, I wanted to to end this game correctly. And after Bishop D7, I still have some issues, and I still have to prove some some things. Yeah, yeah, I'm up in exchange, but okay, it's not easy. So that's why I decided after King J8 to just go back with the knight because okay, I'm attacking his bishop. I am, yeah, it's check. It's still check. And if he goes on g7, then I can take there. And if you try to take to take my my knight, it's just checkmate. So he cannot do that. So he decided just to go on a fate. Wait, uh, check. He decided to go on a fate. And now I took the bishop. And the reason why I decided to play this position, except for the other one, is because right now I will only win a pawn or get a pawn back. But in every case, no, I will just win a pawn. But still, I do have some attack. In, in, in the other position, I had to convert. Now, I can finish my opponent. In this position, there is only one move. This is knight b8. And after takes, takes this, queen f7, I am up two pawns. And this is way easier than the other position. And But he decided, actually, he missed something. He played knight f5, and now it's checkmate. You can pause the video and try to find this. But now this is just bishop takes. What if he can take either way? In every case, there is a move queen e6, and this is just checkmate. Oopsie. Yeah, this is just. Stop it. Yeah, you see, I'm just controlling all the squares with my pieces, and this is just a very, very strong checkmate, which he missed, of course, and now he resigns. So yeah, I, I managed to win some games, including. And yeah, it was a pretty interesting game. So if you have some more questions, just go in the comment section. If you want a good chess coach, go in the comment section. I'll be there in order to answer you. And see you in a future upload. Take care.